Hello, my name is Don and I'm a school psychologist. And my name is Nick Wynn and I'm a chaplain. It's always a treasure for us to promote TED, treating everyone decently for a safe and friendly environment at the school. Today's talk is about maintaining respectful relationships. We often get to see students who are badly distressed because their friends fail to treat them with respect. Very often they don't treat their friends with respect either. Here are some tips on getting on with other people. Firstly, give other people space. People are not property. Let your friends hang out with whoever they want without accusing them of cheating or telling them what to do. You also have the right to hang out with whoever you want. Two, communicate openly. Tell your friends how you feel without losing your temper, using name calling, put downs, and sarcasm. Don't swear at your friends. It's better if you can think about the situation in a positive way. I make positive comments about your friends, such as, thank you for being helpful. I really value your friendship. Three, it's okay to be alone. You've got a right to having time by yourself, to choosing your friends and pursuing your own activities. However, your friends also have that right. Lastly, be comfortable with saying no. You have the right to say no to any activity at any time without being pressured. However, don't be upset if your friends say no to you. Remember, treat everyone decently by showing respect to make this school a safe and friendly environment. When we talk about respect, it can be about you know, respecting somebody that you look up to or a hero or a sports star, a musician or someone like that. Or it can be about respecting something that you, you feel, somebody that you fear, like a, an older brother or, or wild animals or big waves or something like that. But when in, here in the school, when we talk about respect, it's about valuing other people, about putting other people before yourself at times and about treating others as you yourself would want to be treated. There can be a problem though when we want to treat other people the way we want to be treated if we ourselves don't treat ourselves well. If you don't respect yourself, you're going to find it very difficult to respect other people. I want to talk to you about self-respect. Self-respect is very important because you have to live with yourself for a very long time. There's some things that will um, get in the way or erode your self-respect, some basic things. There's the obvious things like substance abuse or, or drinking too much alcohol or, or self-harm or at the extreme suicide. But there's also some, some less obvious ones. Hanging around people that, that don't respect you will cause your self-respect to, to diminish. We see this all the time with peer group pressure. People hanging around people that don't value them highly and they end up getting caught up in a destructive lifestyle. Other things like being um, promiscuous or, or sexually exploiting yourself can cause you to lose self-respect. Self Oftentimes we've talked to people who've, who've been involved in that lifestyle and, and very often they're, they're, they're lacking self-confidence and, and self-respect. Very often they feel used or, or abused or taken advantage of. Very quickly it takes away self-respect. Being too hard on yourself or beating yourself up will erode your self-respect. If you, if you can't make mistakes or, or 
you know, if you, if you don't quite get to the level that you want to get to or achieve the things you want to achieve um, and, and get too hard on yourself when you, don't, when you don't make it, this can take away your self-respect. And the list goes on. But in the same way, there are things that you can do, practical things, basic things you can do that will enhance or encourage your self-respect. Learn to be a friend of yourself. Learn to like who you are. Learn to find out what you're good at and know that you're okay. And be a friend. Don't be too hard on yourself. Respect other people. You'll find as you respect others, you'll feel good about yourself. And you'll also find as you respect others, you'll generate more respect from other people in turn. And that will help you to feel better about yourself too. Guard your integrity. Have some morals and, and values that are, that, are, that are solid and that you stick to. Learn to, to guard your character and spend time with people that are, um, that are of good character as well. Value yourself. Put a value on yourself that is high. Don't see yourself as being cheap or worthless. Understand that you, you have inherent worth and value just for being you. And lastly, spend time with people who value you and respect you. Spend time with people that like you and accept you for who you are. And you'll find that in turn that will rub off on you and you internalise the respect that other people have for you. And in turn you have it for yourself. So remember, respecting yourself is important and it helps make Rockingham a safe and friendly environment. Now it's time for a role play. The first situation shows where a friend doesn't show respect to another. Oh, Lindsay, I don't want to see you with your... I think you should hang around me all the time because I'm better. I'm hot. I'm good. I'm good. See my muscles? See my muscles? They great big muscles. See me? See? I'm hot. I'm hot to drop. Oh, don't be so dumb, Chan. You're such a nag all the time. You're always on my case. Why don't you leave me alone? Don't be so dumb, Shannon. So rather in this situation shows where a friend shows respect to another. Oh Lindsay, I don't really want to see you around John. I don't think you should hang around here. I don't think you should hang around me all the time because I'm the best. I'm hot. I'm the best. Yes. Mm. I really like Chan, but I get annoyed when you tell me what to do and who I can see. Remember, I'm not your property. I have the right to hang out with other people without you getting upset. Now you are my friend and I like you, but I expect you to trust me and respect me. I guess you're right in a way, I mean, you are your own person and I guess you're right as well that I don't know you and you're always right. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to do that, I was being a bit silly. That's alright.